Hi, this is Paul Logue and Marco Sandro. We are from Eden's Curse and this is PPM TV and we are still cursed. I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I'm very, very excited, but I have some strange feeling. So, just a little. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's the first time. It's so a little nerves. Yeah, you know. Um, I think for, for us as the band, we are we are very excited. We're very comfortable with Marco now. We just cannot wait for the world to hear. Eden's curse with Marco, so um, we understand he may be he may be a little bit nervous, but nah, he'll he'll be okay. He's a professional. We found him on YouTube, believe it or not. Um, we had uh, when when Michael left, we started talking to other singers. There's a few obvious singers out there that that are linked to our band that people would instantly say, okay, they're going to get this guy. But we wanted to have someone who. Um, was exclusive to Eden's Curse because we have a signature sound with Michael and we wanted to continue to have a signature sound without him. Um, so it was a case of just talking to people, see who was interested. And a lot of the guys that we talked to were in other bands and we didn't want that. So we moved to YouTube. Um, we were checking out some of the Dragon Force editions. And um, I found a Korean guy singing uh, Skid Row, and I thought, wow, I forgot how good a singer Seb Back was. So I type Skid Row vocal cover, up comes this guy. And I listened to it, I thought, he's good. And I see down the side of the YouTube link, he, he's recorded a cover of Symphony X. And I'm like, holy cow, <laughs> Russell Allen to me is the best singer in metal. And I played it, and I went, oh my god. And uh, we, we contacted them via Facebook and, uh, you know, it was perfect because this band formed on the internet. We are, we are all from different countries. We have an Italian, a Scotsman, a German, another Italian, another Italian. A, an Englishman. So it was perfect that we found them on the internet and it continues the internet <laughs> legacy of the band. Yeah. For some strange reason, maybe this situation is better. We have a good bond, but there's a great um, feeling amongst all of the guys. On paper, and this is something we've always said, on paper, Eden's Curse should not work, but it does. And it's the personalities involved. And picking the right singer was an easy task. Picking the right person was the most difficult mm. task. And we kept him hanging on for four weeks. He must have been going, <laughs> tell me, tell me. But we had to make sure he was exactly the right person, the right mentality, the right vibe, and I'm glad to say that we've we've totally, totally made the right choice. What's it gonna take to make a change? We video um, for us it was it, it was basically we had to come back with a new song um, we wanted the public to hear what Eden's curse sounds like with Marco but also see see what it looks like um, it would have been so easy just to record an older tune but we always would have been referenced back to Michael and I felt for us to move forward it was very important for a new song um, which came from the, the writing sessions for our new album. And uh, we felt Time to Breathe spoke um, about issues in the world today, about the financial crisis, and it was very relevant. And it also um, has a little bit of a link to the situation that we went through with finding a new voice. And we needed Time to Breathe to assess what was going on in our band and decide is this what we want to do and carry on? And I'm glad to say, yes, it was, and here we are. So it was, it was a very cool experience. I don't know. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It was really, really great. 
the, the guys are awesome and I don't know how to say, uh, I'm happy. Definitely Time to Breathe is going to be played tonight um, because it's our first show and in fact it's our first show outside of uh, the UK and we've played in America before but most of our tours have been UK based so it's our first show in kind of central European soil so we felt it was important to play a, 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 almost like a Best of Eden's Curse. We have songs from the first record, we have songs from the second and songs from the, the, the last album which is still just about a year old, so um, it's a good cross um, section of Eden's Curse music. It is a lot of our heavier songs because we feel with the bill that we are on, um, we enjoy playing the heavier songs and the crowd seem to like them, so we're going to go for it, <laughs> I think is the best way. Yeah. It's a hundred miles per hour. Yeah.